Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where the audio always gives me trouble for some reason. Um, first thing I just want to say real quick, I'm still a bit sick, so if um, if I sound different, that is why. But anyways, let's get straight into the question, starting with Lego Darth Vader Studios, and he says, Who is your favorite Star Wars character? Maul. Who is... No, have you ever bought fake Lego brand before? Like a, a fake Lego brand set before. Uh, I read that wrong. Um, no, I have not. Do you have a girlfriend? Maybe. What is your favorite video game? I don't really have one, to be honest with you. When will you do a face reveal? Never. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I don't plan to ever do one, so sorry. What is your favorite type of food? All of it, but I guess pizza and chocolate, I guess, would be like the number two. Or number one and number two favorites. And this one, and the very last one, is not really a question, but it's more, do you know what a joke? What What's a joke? Paid $80 for 470 plus pieces. Looking at you, General Grievous and Starfighter. Yeah, uh, I don't know why I read it, and that's such a weird voice, but yeah. Okay, so hello, this is me editing the video. I somehow completely and utterly missed two of the questions. Um, so I'm gonna just pretend like I never missed them and, and still finishing them here, if that makes sense. So, um, when did you start building Lego? Probably when I was five. I don't remember, honestly. And do you like Star Wars Rebels? Yes, I do. I like Star Wars Rebels and Resistance and the Clone Wars. Anyways, now back to the already like made video this is just like an add-on bit because i forgot to answer two of the questions because i'm a derp um so yeah thank you for your questions lego Darth Vader studios let's move on starting with i say starting with i already started with uh our next question comes from jawa and he says do you like to build mocks i think they are really fun to make um Okay, so truth be told, I've never actually made a mock, and I don't know when I ever will. I do actually have a plan for a mock that nobody is going to like, and if I ever get around to doing it, maybe for like Mocktober, it's just going to be one of those like little small ones, but it's going to be so horrible, everyone's going to hate it, and that's why I had to do it. So, keep your eyes peeled for that maybe I'll be doing a mock someday. Just not for, like, probably the rest of this month or next month. I can promise you that. Maybe October. Oh, hopefully. We'll see. But anyways. Our next question comes from The Banner, and he says, Do you like Harry Potter, and do you have any Lego sets from the theme? Yes, I love Harry Potter. I think it's a good franchise, like the movies. I, I know I'm going to offend someone for saying this, but I've never actually read the books. Um, but I have seen the movies all at least once, and I like the movies. Um, I think they're cool. I love the Lego sets, but I just don't have enough money to buy them, so I'm not going to get into it, at least right now. Um, but to answer your question, really, no, I don't have any Harry Potter sets, at least yet. Someday I might start getting into them. I don't know. We'll find out. We shall see, right? Our next question comes from E.K. Starlord, and he says, Do you think the next Star Wars trilogy will be about the High Republic or the Low Republic? I'm sorry, the, the Old Republic. I just couldn't resist making that dumb joke again. Um, I don't know, honestly. Um, honestly, kind of like, what's the difference? Like, I know that there is there is a huge difference, but they're both they both take place years before Episode 1. So... I would like to see them start with the Old Republic, because from the stories we know, even though they're not canon now, that's, like, really cool, and I think that they could maybe twist it a little and add something new to it to make it even better, um, and maybe we could get something before the Old Republic, the like, the before-before the part, you know, I don't know, um, so that would be really cool to see. I just hope that they do... Whatever they do next, I just hope that they do it right, and it's good and cool and amazing, you know. But pretty much I'll watch it anyways. Even if it's another three episodes about, like, Ray, I'll still go and see them in theaters, even though they probably won't be as good as if it was about, like, the Old Republic. So, anyways, yeah, so we'll find out, I guess. I don't really know. Um, I'm hoping it's about the Old Republic, let's put it that way. Our next question comes from Tree Man, and he says, Will you and how many 
501st Battle Packs will you buy? Well, if I could find one, first of all, I would like to buy just one. I did buy one on eBay because I got impatient. So I ended up paying $50 for a $30 set. So, uh, yay me, I guess. But, um, to answer your question, I'm only going to get one. I, I don't have the money to be able to buy, like, even just 10. I'm not trying to be all like, oh, boo-hoo, woe is me, you know, pity me, all that stuff. But if I'm going to continue to buy other sets, like Anakin Starfire, General Grievous' Starfire, you know, things like that, to do reviews, I couldn't afford to buy a bunch of Five of First Battle Packs because then I wouldn't have any money. So, and I'd much rather, and I'm sure some of you could agree with this, I'd much rather have one of every set so I can do a review on it than have 30 of one amazing set. I mean... Having 30 of one set does sound like fun, so, um, I don't know, maybe for Christmas I might ask for, like, one or two, just so that way I can have, like, three to my name, like, in my collection, I don't know, but I'm only gonna buy one, and that's just so I can continue having money to buy other sets to do reviews, including Minecraft, you know, I've been doing some Minecraft sets now, and those aren't cheap either, those are cheaper, but they're not, like, five dollars you know they're like the last set i i think i paid 17 dollars, but like the one before that was like 30 dollars, and then the one before that was like 40 dollars, and so you know it adds up so once again i'm sorry if i'm kind of like complaining like being on like oh boo hoo woe is me but you know i just yeah so i'm only gonna get one i that's, that's all i needed to say huh i'm sorry i really overly complicated that so all right, and our next question comes from Esme King, and he says, Great video. Well, first off, thank you. I appreciate that. Second, he says, Sorry to change the question, but, I, but do you play video games? If so, wait. wait uh, did I read that? I'm sorry to change the question, but do you play any video games? If so, console, PC. Oh, okay, I got it, like, like you're asking. Console or PC. Um, and what games? Well... Of course I play video games because that's what you're watching me play right now. I'm playing on my Xbox. Um, at the time of me recording this, I don't know what gameplay I'm using because I record like a couple game clips like in one day and then I just use them all like separately each ASA video. So yeah, but that's that's me playing video games on my Xbox. I record it with my flash drive. And so pretty much any time you watch an ASA video, if you see gameplay in the background, that's me playing the games, so, um, those are the games I play, right, so, yeah, hopefully that answered your question, and our next question comes from Jedi, and he says, if you could only watch one Star Wars movie for the rest of your life, what would it be, hmm, that's a tough one, I guess episode 5, because episode 5 is my favorite Star Wars movie, so, I'm gonna go with episode 5, I'm gonna turn that question around and ask you guys that, if you could only watch one Star Wars movie for the rest of your life, what would it be? So, yeah. Anyways, our next question comes from E.K. Extras, and he says, What are your thoughts on the new Lego Super Mario sets? Who cares about that? Lego Mario. I do. Well, I don't. Oh, Squidward. I only honestly just, yeah, I don't care. I just, I, like... The, the characters, like, the blockiness of Mario just looks so stupid that I think that's dumb. But everything else, I'm just like, meh. I've never been into Mario. I've never actually had, like, a Nintendo device growing up. Well, besides the DSi. Um, but I never played, a like, a Mario game on that. So, I couldn't tell you what my thoughts are on it. Because, like, I don't know what anything is, you know. Um... So, I don't care. I just, I'm not going to get it because I don't care. Or get them, I should say. Yeah. Alright, and our very last question of the day comes from Doc Jedi Films. And he says, if you ever had the chance, would you go out there? So, like, he's talking about space. I'm not going to read the whole comment. So, like, you can buy the screen read if you want. But, um, so he's talking about, like, space. If you had the chance, would you ever go out there? And would you, or, and if you could never come back... Would you still do it? So, like, go on a journey out in space, like, and stuff. Uh, to answer your question, no. I don't think I would. Unless I could bring someone with me. But even then, 
Probably still the answer would be no. So, yeah. Um, but that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for your questions. Uh, please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And make sure you comment down below your question for the next episode. It can be about literally anything. And you don't have to just comment once. You can comment multiple times. Just I might not answer all your questions if that happens. So, um, yeah. But I, I just wanted to throw that out there in case you thought you could only comment once. There's no, technically there's no rule on it, right? So, um, yeah, and remember, the weirder the better. <laughs>